we're creating almost this like artificial famine at, yeah. the, at the cell level and requiring it to generate an output we care about mm -hmm. in order to be able to literally feed itself. Feed itself. Yeah. Yeah. If bacteria had ethics, this yeah, would be very, very problematic. <laughs> very unethical. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this breakthrough here reports the first successful industrial gram scale biosynthesis. Okay. Uh, and yes. the way that they did this scaling and this production is actually what I think the story is about, the real science is about. Because here's the core challenge, okay? The, the standard approach is to take that gene, stick that into a bacteria, and then have the bacteria produce it, right? Yep. The problem is there's a metabolic burden. Because if you've got this new pathway that's taking up a lot of energy, it's taking up a lot of the ATP, a lot of the carbon atoms even, and it confers no survival advantage, the bacteria doesn't want to do it, mm -hmm. right? All of the energy budget and the carbon budget of an organism is very strict, mm -hmm. okay? It's had billions of years of evolution to right. figure out this carbon atom has to go there, this amount of ATP needs to be used for this, and so on and so forth, right? And now all of a sudden you install on this electrical grid like a giant server farm, <laughs> right. right? With no advantage. With no, right. the, the bacteria is not gonna reroute all of its energy so it makes no sense, right? Right. You've got an evolutionary conflict because let's say a bunch of these bacteria are there. There's some mutation that cuts off supply to that server farm. That bacteria is going to grow faster. Because we're trying to use literal biology as the platform by which we generate this, this organic compound. Yeah. Like we're not using machines no. and a factory. Yeah. It's we're literally using biology. Yeah. And the system is not purely controlled by like human engineering input exactly yeah yeah so so we need to figure out a way to to make the bacteria do what we want to do right okay. and the strategy that came out of nature biotech growth coupled biosynthesis that's what they're calling it quite a simple thing they've created what's called an oxotroph it's an organism that has through some kind of mutation lost the ability to synthesize some essential ingredient okay okay and the only way it can get this essential ingredient is if it runs this <laughs> mechanical, biomechanical pathway that we've installed, yeah. they're taking a molecule as host hostage. It can't make methionine without this thing, and it can't make the mm. A and the G that's in our DNA. It can no longer grow. So now, how does it actually make the food that it needs, right? right. What we do, create this artificial pathway, yes. okay? Where on its way to creating xanthomatin, what it's gonna do is create formate, which is a precursor for all of the other things that the bacteria need. And the ultimate goal is you've got like a sole carbon source, which is through the factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to pay the cost to be the boss. You yeah. literally, you have to go kiss the ring yeah. to survive. To survive, yeah. <laughs>